Hey guys, Delta here, and the Titanfall beta has been live for a little less than a week now. I believe it's actually wrapping up the day after this video goes live. I've been playing it a bunch on my PC, with my DualShock 4 nonetheless. Uh, I tricked my PC into thinking it was an Xbox controller, so that's why you'll see Xbox prompts coming up. But I am indeed playing on my PC. So there's been a ton, ton of talk about this game, a lot of hype. It's a game that I'm moderately excited for because the... Uh, cancellation, I, I guess, of the PS4 version. But there's a lot of talk about us because this is the new game from Respawn Entertainment, the guys that made Call of Duty 4 that turned the first-person genre on its head. And there's a one huge question about it. Is it revolutionary? Is it going to change first-person shooters the same way Call of Duty 4 did? But before I answer that question, i got to talk about all the other stuff there is to talk about in this game. I played it about six months ago at PAX, but that was only a 15 minute demo. Now I've been able to sink about eight hours into the game, though with a limited selection of things to do. Now I have a much, much better idea of what Titanfall is, what it's going to bring, and uh, I, I gotta talk about it because it's exciting. I find it really exciting. First off, I'm sure you can tell already from watching this gameplay, it's incredibly fast paced, chaotic, frantic gameplay. Uh, it's honestly, it's really addicting, it's pure, pure arcade. It, you know, people say Call of Duty is an arcade shooter. I think this puts it to shame in that regard. I once said Black Ops 2 was like Call of Duty on crack because of how fast I, that game felt, at least to me. This game is like another notch above that. Above that, it is insane. All the people running around, the Titans, uh, guys just moving so fast. And then parkour, it's, it's just incredible. Uh, and, and on top of all that, it controls phenomenally. If you've played a Call of Duty game, you'll feel right at home. It is so, so tight. Uh, some of the best controls I've ever uh, had in a first-person shooter game. And of course, like I said, I'm playing this with my DualShock 4, so I have a good idea of how this is going to feel on, on a controller compared to keyboard and mouse. Parkour is also incredibly, incredibly fun. It's one of those things that's it takes a little time to figure out. It's pretty easy to get going with, but once you once you learn things and start stringing together well-timed jumps and learning all the areas in the map to use it, it is it just looks so so cool. This is one of those games that for the first five hours you're gonna be playing and you're gonna find something new to do and you're gonna freak out because it looks so awesome every single time. Now, the thing is, there's nothing incredibly new about Titanfall. You know, all these elements have been done in other games. First-person parkour in Mirror's Edge. The core gunplay is very reminiscent of Call of Duty, and there's so many mech games out there. What's so incredibly fresh and just awesome about this game, I guess, I'm using that word a lot, is that it's the only game that I know of... I, don't quote me on it, because this is, this is based on my experience. It's the only game I know of that combines all these elements into one. And on top of all that, it's really easy to pick up and play. It's one of those games that you can invite a bunch of friends over, sit on the couch, and pass it around. Pass the control around, taking turns. Because, unfortunately, there's no uh, co-op or split screen of any kind that I'm aware of. It's going to appeal to a very large audience as a result of that. That leads me into the next point I want to talk about, and that is, will this kill Call of Duty? There's a lot of people saying Titanfall is the Call of Duty killer. I have to say no to that, at least not right now, and that is because it is console exclusive. It's only on PC, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. The thing that Call of Duty has is it doesn't matter what console, platform, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter what you have, you can get some form of a Call of Duty game on there. And that is a huge advantage that it will have until Titanfall goes multi-platform. Now, I don't think the first game is ever going to leave the Xbox and PC. I believe that was wrapped up in the deal EA and Microsoft made. But the sequels, uh, as far as I know, they should be coming to PS4, PS3, if they're still making games for PS3 and 360 at that point. But it should no longer be Xbox console exclusive, however you want to describe it. And I think at that point, then, maybe, it could be the Call of Duty killer. But realistically, I think Titanfall is just going to be the game that takes the largest chunk out of Call of Duty's follower base. And uh, only Call of Duty is going to kill Call of Duty, and it started doing that. Sales are trending downward. So now that we're getting later into this video, and I've talked about all the other awesome, awesome stuff in this game, the question that I posed at the beginning of the video, is Titanfall revolutionary? And honestly, as much fun as I'm having, no, it's not revolutionary. Like I said, there is nothing huge and new that no other shooter is doing, uh, besides the fact it's combined all these elements. Like, it doesn't have... 
the huge challenge and XP system being introduced for the first time like Call of Duty 4 did. So, it's not going to turn the industry and the genre on its head in the same way. But could it be a game changer? Possibly. Yes, very possibly. And, of course, that de depends on how you define it. I'm defining revolutionary and game changer as different right now. The reason I say that is because I don't think it's going to completely flip everything over and change how it all works. But... I think a lot of other series are going to look at this game successfully pulling off the idea of a multiplayer campaign that Brink did not manage to do a number of years ago. And I think a lot of games are going to look at that and strongly consider dropping these tacked on campaigns they've had because they feel they just they have to have it and going, "Hey, look, you know, this game did it. Uh, gamers are accepting it. Uh, it sells." So maybe that will see some of that happen. And uh, other than that, I think maybe it'll just start a trend of, of games going to a more sci-fi setting, the same way Call of Duty 4 triggered the, the jump from World War II to, to modern era warfare. So I think it could, it could change things up a little, but it is not going to completely uh, blow the industry away to the point where developers are starting to do things completely different to, to make up for it. But finally, despite the all of those things, all the other crap we've talked about in this video, it comes down to one thing. Is Titanfall fun to play? Yes. Hell yes. It is incredibly fun to play. I, I can't think of a game that I've had as much fun as I've had in the time I've spent with this game over the last few days. It is just... It is addicting. It is fast-paced. It is fun. I don't know if that'll hold up over a long period of time. But you know what? It's promising. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more Titanfall content over the next week. And of course, the Killzone Shadowfall weapon guide is still going. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share it around. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.